This week on the Street of Dreams, stocks in the U.S. and Europe rose to record highs as the European Central Bank, the People's Bank of China, and the Bank of Canada all lowered their official interest rates, raising financial markets' hopes that our Federal Reserve would join the club and cut the Fed funds rate. Those hopes were dashed on Friday after another very strong jobs report. Payrolls increased by 272,000 in May, beating all expectations, and average hourly earnings growth was hotter than expected. However, even with the job gains, the unemployment rate ticked higher to 4%. Now, investors had been hoping for weak job figures on the hope it would give the Federal Reserve the green light to cut rates later this year. Now, with the labor market showing continued resilience, investors are warming to the idea that the economy is strong enough to keep growing without the help of lower interest rates. Keep in mind, this big booming bull market started in October of 2022 while the Fed was raising, not lowering, interest rates. What has fueled this bull run is earnings, and corporate earnings are hitting all-time record highs, and based on analyst estimates, forward earnings are also at a record high. Higher earnings often lead to higher prices, and this suggests to me that this bull market may have a ways to go.